On July 20th, 1969, the Apollo 11 made its final approach to the moon. Just three days before, astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins launched from Earth atop the mighty Saturn V rocket. It was the most powerful rocket in the world. As the lunar module, call sign Eagle, descended towards the moon, things quickly went wrong. The computers started to attempt to land them in a boulder-filled crater. Armstrong had to manually take control of the lander. Armstrong did safely land the aircraft and soon reported back, Houston, uh, the Eagle has landed. Relief swept across mission control and around the world. Neil Armstrong became the first human to set foot on a surface other than Earth's. Aldrin soon followed. They conducted experiments, planted the American flag, and gathered some samples. During this time, Michael Collins orbited above in the command module, alone and out of contact of Earth whenever he passed behind the moon. Later, he would describe this isolation as both peaceful and haunting, knowing that if anything went wrong on the surface, he'd be returning home alone. After about 21 hours on the lunar surface, the crew faced yet another challenge. There was only one chance for the lunar module to ascend and reconnect with Collins in orbit. Any failure in the ascent engine could have stranded them, but the engines fired and they successfully rendezvoused. On July 24, 1969, the crew splashed down safely in the Pacific Ocean. The lunar landing is truly remarkable given the speed at which the program and NASA developed and the technology of that day.